Hi, right, welcome everybody. Uh, this video today is going to be on how to create a Facebook page or a business page. Uh, try to go through this real quick and uh, just try to give you some tips on how to do that. Uh, right here you'll see create a page over here is where you log out at. You can create a page from here or you can go over here to your pages which is on your news feed. Uh, this is from your home page. You can create an ad or create a page. Today we're going to try to create a page. Uh, a business page at that uh, and what we're going to do is go over here uh, and on create a page you'll have several different categories local business companies uh, a brand or product if you have one an artist page entertainment page if you're in that business or just uh, a community or a cause page if you have a, a charity or something that you want to do um, what we're going to do is work on just making a plain business page for people uh, that are on Facebook that are trying to promote things. Uh, one of the best ways to do that is to be able to create your own business page and let people know who you are and what you're about. Uh, when we click on that page right there, it comes over, choose a category. Um, you know, you can do anything. you got arts, entertainment, uh, automotive. Uh, if you're in the bookstore business, uh, if you're a doctor, education, a uh, hospital or clinic, anything you want to do on here or that you're doing or promoting, uh, you can do uh, and click on one of those categories like business uh, services. You know, uh, the next place right here, you're going to have to put your name in. Uh, my recommendation to anyone that's going to be doing this is try to keep your name short and sweet. Uh, the easiest thing to do is uh, pick a name that people can recognize real quick. Uh, for instance, uh, one of the pages I have, uh, Endless Leads for Social Media, uh, 5 for 5, uh, Business Exposure, uh, Commissions from Home, names like that right there uh, ring up real quick. Uh, you keep things simple where they can remember your name. You don't want to make it too long, uh, and you'll have to enter your street address, your city, your state, your zip code, your phone number. Uh, once you do all that and uh, you click on getting started, of course, I know I just done that, but I didn't mean to. Uh, once you click on the get started page, uh, it'll it'll bring you up into a, a subcategory. Um, I'll bring up right now pages uh, that I manage. Um, we've got uh, three pages, uh, one for Albert Dodd blog, which is my personal blog, uh, commissions from home, uh, us.name is my one of my others uh, this is the one of the pages that I had created right here so we're gonna go and try to go into the settings on it and I want to show you a few things uh, that you need to be doing uh, and make sure that your information is correct uh, in the settings here have is your page visibility which mine is published uh, post ability uh, anyone can post to my page timeline anyone can post uh, add post and videos to my page timeline um, my privacy control for post is turned off and you know depending on whether I want to do that or not or you want to uh, messages uh, tagging ability you'd like for people to tag you and your page um, country restrictions usually you don't because you want to keep it open to anyone and everyone but if you want to restrict it you can to just people in the US or wherever you want to restrict them from any age restrictions you want to put in there if it's content uh, adult manner you want might want to consider making all that above 18 um, if not you know you can change all that edit it uh, page moderation no words are being blocked from my page right now but if I want to block certain words or certain things I can uh, profanity filter like I said uh, similar page suggestions if somebody types in your name you you want it to be showed up in here uh, comment replies are toned on so people can talk and communicate with it. Um, replies, I accept them, merge pages. This is only if you want to combine, uh, merge a couple pages that you have together into one or manage both of them at the same time from one. You can remove your page here. Uh, that's just your general information, uh, your page information, the name of your page, uh, the brand or product. Uh, that you have, well, that's your categories right there, when you joined it, um, the release date, uh, short description right here, just, just a brief little description, keep it short, keep it sweet, and be to the point, who you are, what you are, and what you're about, um, input, impress them, really don't mess with that too much, 
your company overview you want to tell who people tell people what your company is about or your page is about uh, right here in your long description you want to write a long description going into details of who you are what you are why you're here and what you're going to do to help people tell people about your product or your promotion what it's about and why you're uh, excited about it what you're going to do with it and what things are coming uh, then just general information right here um, about the company that you're promoting you know you, you've done that in a long description but your general information just tells everybody what's going on because they'll just see the general information the long description unless they go in there and look at it really those are more of search engine for keyword things your general information is going to be your highlighted keywords uh, your mission what you want to accomplish by listing this business page by having people come to this business page uh, your founders any wars that you have the products that you offer if you are into products or if you're promoting something uh, tell them what's going on, what they're, what you got, uh, what website you have, uh, and, and you want it right here because when people come and click on it, it's going to click and go to that web page. So you definitely want to list that web page here to make sure that you've got it correct uh, and, and double check it and make sure it is correct. And then uh, any um, official brand, celebrity organization um, that your page is, is connected with. You want to be able to enter that page right here, edit that information, show them, uh, list that page on here. Uh, and that right here gives you your Facebook ID for your business page right here. Mine is, you know, right in here. Uh, it shows you that. Uh, you'll go through notifications, set up uh, how you want to be notified on Facebook. Uh, what, you know, your messages, any reviews, tips, uh, comments, or new comments on your page. Uh, you want uh, other people to edit or you want to edit your comments um, You want people to be able to edit their comments new likes on your post uh, Page post just new likes in general and edits to, to post you have written uh, And then down here you, you get an email each time something happens on there are uh, your page roles uh, This just showing where your admin area is who's involved in it if it's just you or if to uh, you know you and your partner both were working on it you would enter their name and email here and, and it would show up with their profile picture uh, you can add as many people as you want to your business page if it's a, a group of people then uh, you can add that but sometimes it's, it's just as easy to just keep the page by yourself because most promotions what you're doing online is, is just by yourself unless it's a group that uh, is promoting this business page uh, you want to click all that save that information um, apps that uh, you may want to add here you may want to add a video a facebook video uh, provides this uh, stuff from facebook with uh, through with them you can upload your video files here uh, or from your mobile phone you can have events on it you can share your notes with everybody uh, in this area right here uh, you can have uh, pending suggestions you know as far as uh, what anybody's uh, you know done um, suggested edit like I said suggested edits but nobody's really given any um, what is your featured thing uh, page owners when you add a featured page owner uh, your personal information will be publicly displayed in the about section of this page the page will be shown on their personal profile so likes um, you haven't liked any other pages as, as this for me so I'm not going to add a, a, do that right now. What I just want you to know is it's here. Uh, if you want to add a featured page which tells about yourself, it'll be shown on your own personal profile and showed here as a page owner. Um, for this, like my this one right here, it's in this lease for social media uh, that I had just started a few days ago. You, you can click on that and it'll point to your uh, personal profile page. Uh, a mobile page right here. Uh, you know if, if you want to upload things from your mobile you need to contact this Facebook page or this uh, email account right here so that you can get those address uh, photos and stuff uploaded uh, to your page uh, you can ban users from coming to your page uh, then you can go to uh, activity results um, the main thing is whenever you do uh, a business page the, the biggest point that I'm trying to get across to you is fill out everything on that page 
your about page uh, photos that you have that you want to upload you know you, you want to get a, a a cover photo here you want to add a, a a profile photo of yourself or you know you got your cover photo here and this is your profile it says a lot about you because right here you want to put your company or promotional um, picture right here now there is certain uh, size to it make sure that you get the correct size in it otherwise it'll stretch it out a little bit like this one um, profile picture you know it, it mine right here I didn't get it all done correctly but I would put my profile picture here because it tells people that this is what I'm promoting this is who I am this right here tells you what it is about what your page is about so see I mean it, this is where you had your short description over here you know you'll have your long descriptions your contact information uh, your website where people can go to it directly uh, anything else that uh, you know that goes on in here uh, you got activity it'll show you what's been going on uh, you'll be able to invite friends to like your page you can promote your page through an ad with Facebook you can share your page uh, just a lot of things that you can do around here notifications your messages uh, if you have any scheduled post uh, if you'd like to make any scheduled post you know you can create a draft of scheduled post a lot of people wondering about that uh, I personally haven't used it uh, but apparently you know if you can schedule a post to be sent out uh, I would do so Excuse me. Um, then you build your audience. You can invite friends, promote your page, promote your website. You use your ad manager. All these things are important on your page. Uh, make sure that you do fill your page out as completely as possible. Uh, all that information is relevant to who you are and what you are. And when it comes time for people to search for you, uh, you know, you start sharing and recommending things, then people are going to want to know who you are. So you share that. Here you can post things, and it can, you can share it to your own timeline. Uh, you can share it to uh, a group. Anywhere that you'd like to go, uh, you can share it with. And I want you to understand that when you do do your business page, completely and have all your information filled out it's a lot easier for search engines for uh, Facebook it's the search engine itself uh, to be able to pick you up and, and uh, place you in, in a category where you'd like to be placed at because otherwise if you just have a few little things in there people are going to come look and they're going to want to want to wonder why uh, you ain't got all this filled out what are the reasons why uh, then they start looking at you a little bit more a little closer and see that you're just you're kind of just posting things you're not really uh, working uh, to gain their trust uh, and tell tell each other about what you are what you want what you're gonna do so it's very important that you do spend some time creating uh, something that's completely done before you publish it and then all that's in your setup when you're doing it and yes it does take some time you can you can put one up in five minutes or you can put one up in two hours and have everything complete I guarantee you that the person that spent two hours putting it together and getting all his information in there is going to get a lot more interest uh, from other people than the man that spent five minutes and just put a cover photo on uh, put a photo here and then just started splattering stuff to people uh, if you take your time set it up right uh, you'll be able to draw attention to yourself people will see what it is what it's about they'll know and they can make an educating uh, type of uh, decision as to whether they want to to work with you or want to learn more or want to hear more and it's very important that people know of that uh, before you do uh, that's pretty much the end of this video and the next videos uh, coming up, we're going to be t I'll be talking about uh, how to uh, set up a blog uh, using uh, Facebook, WordPress uh, to print to your business page. Uh, and, and your business page right here, 
uh, there's many other ways that you can do it you can go create a group um, I can actually uh, go and, and show you a group page that I have which which is connected to this uh, the uh, endless lease for social media uh, if you give it just one minute let it come up real quick uh, this this group right here is uh, five for five business exposure created this group right here and it works in conjunction with the ends leads for social media it ties into that um, and in the next videos coming up I'll be uh, sharing how to set up a group page and what to do to uh, actually get the group page to work to, and, and to work with you and show you how to get members into it you don't go off and splatter and spam people trying to get people in uh, and along with the blog we'll be going over discussions on how to set a blog up uh, and, and try to help uh, you understand the importance of being able to complete all this information get all this information into it and uh, I look forward to uh, seeing you on the next video uh, stay tuned for it uh, and uh, enjoy it and hope you uh, gain some information from it thank you